core and glute Tabata for spring. 12 minutes, four, three, crunch to the right, crunch, crunch, right, left, crunch right, crunch left, exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale, make it harder, legs are up, ankles, arms cross, hold to the right, up this pulse is four, three, option one, feet down. Pulse, 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 pulse. Option two, legs are up, ankles are crossed. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Woo! Four, three, two. Lower abdominals, option one. Hands up your backside. Squeeze your tummy. Single leg drop. Two. In. Up. Slow. In. Up. Slow. Exhale. Up. And inhale down. Crunch. Up. And slow. Hold for ten. Squeeze that belly button in. Option one, single leg drop, or two, slow, crunch, up, slow, crunch, up, slow, exhale, up, inhale, down, Woo! alternate oblique crunch, Option one, your feet are flat. Crunch to the right, crunch to the left, crunch to the right, crunch to the left, right, left. Make it harder, legs are up and the ankles are crossed. Four, three, two, hold left, or rest if your neck gets tired. Next up is pulses to the left. In three, option one, feet down. Pulse, 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 pulse. Two, legs are up and the ankles are across. Pulse, pulse, last six, five, four, three, two, Your bum low. 
other side. Think about these obliques here. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out. Belly button tight at the front. Six, five, four, three, two. Dumbbell transfer play. Option one is on the knees. Try to minimize any movement in the hips. So what? Reach under the body, pull the dumbbell across. Option two, you're up on your toes. Now feet are at least hip width apart because you want to minimize the movement side to side in your hips. Plank hold or child's pose. Squeeze your belly button up, up, up. One more time. Exhale one way, inhale back. There's going to be some movement in the body, but try to minimize that. Exhale one way, inhale back. All right, grab that heavier dumbbell with your left hand. Fingertips behind the ear, squeeze your belly button down and up. Nice tall spine. Squeeze the belly button at the front. Think about your other side. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Four, three, two, one last hold. Shoulders roll back, belly button tucks in, spine is tall. Get that dumbbell down to your knees. One more time, down and up, down and up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze your belly button at the front. Six, five, four, three, last two, and Okay, that was eight minutes of core. That was awesome. Now we're gonna dig in with our glutes. I want you to keep that lighter dumbbell, put it behind the right knee if you wish. If you prefer, you can do this body resistance without a dumbbell, but I encourage you to try it with a light dumbbell behind the right knee. Up and down, up and down. Exhale up. Inhale down. So lift the leg as high as you can. Exhale up. Inhale down. Three, two, here's your hold. Make sure you get that leg up nice and high. Squeeze the dumbbell in. Flex your foot. You could also be down on your forearms. Pulse, 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 pulse. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Single leg, hip, thrust, pulse. Pulse, now we want that heel close to your back. 
side, four, three, two, hold. So you're working your glutes here. You can also have your foot flat on the floor if you prefer. One more, and pulse, pulse. Exhale one way, inhale back. Exhale one way, inhale back. Just an inch as high as you can. Pulse, pulse. Woo! Four, three, two, switch legs. Now rather than move the dumbbell, just shimmy your body over a little bit. Left foot down and the right leg is up. We're gonna pulse, pulse. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Just an inch as high as you can lift. We're gonna pulse, pulse, woo! Four, three, two, last, hold. Squeeze that tummy, breathe. Same leg, one more time. And pulse, pulse, pulse. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Just an inch as high as you can lift. Last six and five, four and three, two, you're done. Oh. Okay, that is a really great glute burn. Give those knees a little hug. Woo! Okay, fantastic. So, that was a quick and dirty 12 minute core and glute session. So again, this is a great standalone session for some of your favorite body parts if you're short on time, but you, it makes a great finisher to tack on on the end of a dedicated cardio day. So you should be doing two to three cardio sessions per week hit or um, like a medium intensity, um, steady state sort of cardio for 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, zone two cardio, they call it. But I did a half hour on my elliptical today. So this makes a great finisher to just kind of burn out my abs and my glutes at the end of that. So I hope you loved it. Spring is just around the corner. So we got to get those favorite body parts in tip top shape for summer. So I look forward to working out with you again next week. Have an amazing day. Thank you for zooming in.